There are indeed so many powerful improvements in Windows 8 and, of course, the follow-up Windows 8.1. One of those areas is the Task Manager. You are going to be really impressed with how enhanced Task Manager is compared to what we had in Windows versions of the past. Let's jump to our Windows 8.1 desktop and take a look at this powerful Task Manager. This, of course, is a slice of my supporting Windows 8.1 course here at CBTNuggets.com. Right-click the desktop taskbar in Windows 8 and choose Task Manager, just like you would in a previous Windows environment, and the Task Manager pops up, but right away, you notice something very unique. Yeah, we're on this Processes tab now. There's a lot of powerful tabs that have been added. Notice it organizes this for us by default in our Running Applications, in our Background Processes. So look at this, right away it separates them. Also, it separates out your Windows processes. Notice we have status, CPU, memory, disk, and network. Should I want to sort by, let's say, CPU utilization, I'll click on that and I can see that, yeah, probably no surprise here, Camtasia Recorder, which I'm using to create this CBT nugget, is consuming most of our CPU. I wouldn't be surprised if we sort by memory and see it at the top of that list as well, and it certainly is. How about disk access? Well, not a lot of disk or network access going on right now, but notice we could sort by those as well, and no surprise that when it comes to network access, Google Chrome is at the top of the list. I just noticed I'm using the 32-bit Google Chrome. Interesting, I'm on a 64-bit platform. But anyways, this obviously is going to be very beneficial to you to see and get a glimpse of what processes are running and then quickly sort them to see the hogs on your particular system, if you will. By the way, can we right-click these particular entities and then control them? Absolutely. And obviously, one of the powerful things here is we could end some particular task that is maybe acting up on us or we just want to quickly free up those particular resources. Please note, you will be warned if that particular task has other processes that rely on it, you will get a warning about that type domino effect. Now, this gives us great performance information in addition to allowing us to control exactly what's running on our Windows 8.1 machine. But if we slide over one tab, notice we get an excellent performance tab. So now I can see what's going on overall with the CPU utilization, memory utilization, disk, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and our Ethernet options for connectivity. We have an app history area. This is giving us resource usage for particular applications over a time period. So this is awesome, especially if we're worried about something really like consuming our network resources over time. And the next tab you're really going to love. No longer do we have to go in the MS config utility in order to control the particular processes that are going to be launched at startup. Yeah, so here I can see all of the things that are going to be launching at startup on this particular system. And, you know, you can see some things in here like the Java update scheduler and the Adobe Reader and Acrobat updater. And here you can see I'm using the Bing desktop application and Dropbox. So if we have a machine that's performing very poorly, it might be because of a lot of startup applications that we don't need. And this is an easy way to go in and absolutely cure that problem. Notice I can right click and disable a particular startup application very easily right here from Task Manager. As far as users that are currently logged into the system, we can easily see that information on the Users tab. And how cool is this? Once again, getting information about resource consumption, this time sorted on that user by user basis. And then we have a details tab. This gives us even more details about the processes that are running on this particular system. And then finally, how about seeing all of the services that are potential on this particular device and obviously their status. I will typically want to sort by name here. 
and then we can go ahead and find a particular service that maybe we want to start or a particular service that we want to stop. We can right click that service and we can choose start or stop. And obviously the options here will be based on whether or not is it is indeed running. Notice we can go from here right into the more powerful service services app so I could easily go in and right click here and go to properties and control even more settings for the particular service. So your task manager in Windows 8.1 has really gotten an overhaul and will be a very valuable stop for you when you are doing performance troubleshooting on a system. I sure hope this micro nugget has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.